Welcome to today's video. We will be demystifying a crucial concept known as Z-score. So firstly we will see what exactly is a Z-score. Moving further let's break down the Z-score formula. And finally let's go through the steps to calculate a Z-score. Ok now let's see the definition of Z-score. A Z-score is also known as a standard score. Which is a unit free standardized metric that quantifies how many standard deviations a particular score is above or below the mean of its distribution. So a z score or a z-value is a number of standard deviations, a score or a value is away from the mean. In other words, the z-score measures the dispersion of data. Z-score is measured in terms of standard deviations from the mean. Z-score consists of two parts, which are sine and magnitude. The sign of the z-score indicates the direction of deviation from the mean. A positive sign denotes a score above the mean, while a negative sign signifies a score below the mean. The magnitude is the numerical value of z-score and it represents the size of deviation from the mean which is measured in the standard deviation units. Therefore, a larger magnitude implies a more substantial deviation from the mean, which means the data point is further away from the average in the distribution. If z-score is 0, it indicates the data point's score is exactly at the mean of the distribution. In other words, the data point is at the average position within the data set. A z-score of 1.0 signifies a value that is one standard deviation above or below the mean, depending on whether the z-score is positive or negative. And this provides a standardized measure of how far a data point is from the mean. Next, let's see the z-score formula. The z-score is calculated using this formula x minus mu by sigma where x represents the individual score or original score mu is the mean of the distribution sigma is the standard deviation of the distribution the absolute value of z provides the distance of original score x from the mean mu in terms of standard deviations sigma now let's see how to calculate the z score you can follow these steps to calculate the z score for a data point in a data set first identify the value for analysis Second, calculate the mean and standard deviation of the data set. And then subtract the mean from the data point. Next, divide the result by standard deviation. And finally, obtain the z-score. Let's break down these steps. First, identify the value for analysis. That is, identify the value you want to standardize or compare to a distribution. So here, we choose a specific value from the data set that we want to assess or analyze using the z-score. This particular value is referred to as data point of interest. Second, calculate the mean and standard deviation of the data set. So here we find the average value mu and standard deviation sigma for the entire data set that the data point belongs to. And next, subtract the mean from the data point. So here we obtain the difference by subtracting the mean from the data point, where x is the data point and mu is the mean. Next, divide the difference by the standard deviation. And finally, we obtain the z-score. Now the z-score indicates how many standard deviations the data point is from the mean. This calculation standardizes the data point's position in the relation to mean and standard deviation of the data set. A positive z-score indicates a data point above the mean, while negative z-score indicates a data point below the mean. The magnitude of the z-score reflects the distance from the mean in terms of standard deviations.